This is not quite dead. Episode 36, Icarus. Slept for 19 hours. You have to get up because you come on. Uh, I can sleep for 10 years. I tried that once. What? Uh, really? Oui. Was it the best? I gave up three days in. Week. It's boring. I decided to have an orgy for 10 years instead. <laughs> I just woke up. I am not ready to talk about orgies. Boring. How are you so fucking spry? There are fucking rocks younger than you. There are rocks younger than you. Oh, it's too early for this. Alfie, come on. <sighs> How long was the orgy? Longer than three days. Not a decade, though. You know, I've never been to an orgy. Not even one. Well, you've got an eternity ahead of you. But you'll never get into any orgies at all if you don't get out of bed. Mm. This bed is so much comfier than mine. Yes, and infinitely comfier than the nest you made next to Casper. Why didn't you take him back upstairs? You can carry him well enough. It just felt wrong. Hmm. Do you think he's been okay? Without either of us there? I'm sure he is fine. Just what if he's in there? What if he's scared? And I just... I was gone all night. I didn't tell him. He might be worried. Sweet. You being gone for the night would not worry him. It is okay. Do you think he hates me? No, little love, I do not think that. But I... He didn't... He didn't want me to be a vampire. Must we do this again? Sorry. What is this place, anyway? I was not really thinking when we came in. For obvious reasons. It, uh, it is a flat. Yeah. Is it an Airbnb or something? A what? Like a hotel, but it's someone's house. That sounds like a disgusting idea. Why would I want to sleep in the house of someone I do not know? Well, they aren't there when you do it. In that case, if I wanted to sleep in their house, I would simply break in. I... yeah. You know what? Sure. I don't need to break into this flat. It's mine. I... sorry? Do you just randomly have a flat in York? I do now, yes. How? I bought it. With money? Uh, yes. You know, the barter system was not how you think. This is a retroactive idea. I never paid for things with cabbages. Not that you remember, anyway. Hey, you're still not up. <sighs> so comfy. If you have money, why don't you just use it to fix the old house? I have a cash flow problem. How do you mean? Money, estates, all of this. Uh, it is transient in nature, changeable. There is no guarantee an investment you make will make sense in a thousand years' time. Your civilizations are sort up that money could be dead by then, and then you just look like an idiot. My friend from, uh, what do you call it now, Peru? He was a very powerful man in an incredible city, and he helped shape the place, subsidized workers, made sure the genius behind the irrigation system was recognized by those in charge. Everything is thriving some centuries in. The place is wonderful. He left for less than an hundred years, and then when he comes back, the place is abandoned, covered with vines. C'est terrible. <laughs> no, I keep all of my money in heirlooms. You know, this too is not a guarantee. They found my vault in Egypt and now half my fucking savings are in the fucking British Museum, they tell us. Alums. Oui. C'est très simple. You go out and buy the work of some craftsmen, you put it away and then voila, process. The champagne in Casper's old house. Oui. Oui. I have learned from my Egypt mistake and I try to spread my savings around a little more now. I had some ancient manuscripts sealed in the foundations of the house you have been staying in, but when I looked, they were gone. I imagine Casper took them. Maybe. You know he was living in his car? Oui. But I bet it was a nice car, no? Yeah, it was a pretty nice car. He nearly killed me in it, you know? I know. Just out of curiosity, how much did you get for that wine? Around 40,000 a bottle. With 12 bottles, I think it was in the end. So that's... That's... Fucking 480 grand. Oui. How many more of these bolt holes do you have filled with priceless heirlooms? Uh, some. Christ, 
Why aren't you? Why aren't you rich? Little love, I am rich, if I need to be. But I do not see the value in living ostentatiously. Couldn't you, I don't know, sell it all and give the proceeds to charity or something? Why? To help people? I do help people. And I need to live. It is just that the way I live is over an extended period. There are some perks to this life, although it is normally difficult. So why make things more difficult than they have to be? Yeah, but you could give so much money to charity. Ah, like your wealthy philanthropists. No, <laughs> they massage their own egos only. A need for charity is a sign of a failing society, Elfie. It is a government's job to care for its people, and to rely on generosity is to court dissent, and it is a sign of weakness. People are violent when they do not have enough. I'm not sure you need to have lived 10,000 years to know this truth. <sighs> no, I don't think you do. You're still not up. No. Do you need more money? I... I haven't thought about it. How do you think that the car stayed full of petrol? I haven't thought about that either. Hmm. It seems that I've been pampering you. Pampering? The house doesn't even have heating. I'm sorry. That place is a money pit. It really is. It was just the closest, best place for you. My money is mostly tied up in France. I left in a hurry. I, I didn't... You were in no state to be dragged across the channel. I thought we would move on quickly, but things... They are more complicated than I initially believed, as I explained the other day. Yeah. You never said, though, what was it you initially believed? That I would find you, and then I would find Casper, and we would leave. Oh. You said you'd followed a sun all over the city. Yes. I started to worry when the strongest trail I found led me to you. It meant that it had been so long since he had made the others that just his blood inside of you was stronger. Did you know when you did that? Did you know he... No, I did not know. But it was a possibility. So you knew before you saved me then? Is that why you saved me? I told you I don't know why I saved you. Except that if he tried to save you, you are worth saving. Yeah, but that's not true, is it? Because to Casper, I wasn't saved. And even if you didn't know for sure he was dead, you knew for sure he believed that I was if you made me a vampire like him. Was it spite then? Did you save me to hurt him? You are ruminating on this. Yeah, it's kind of a big deal. And you just sort of did it. And I don't get it. And nothing you can say is helping me get it. Mm. Well... I admit I have given it some thought. If you had stayed with Casper, which in any circumstances I believe you would have for a time, this choice would have been upon you eventually. I think you would have always chosen the same. Am I wrong, Alfie? Did I choose this? Alfie, am I a monster? Do you want to be? I... It wasn't just... I really did love him, you know? I know. It's not just because of what he was. No, I know. Like, it was a factor, because he was that, and I loved who he was. But he it, it was special that he was. Uh, he, I saw him for more than that, and I... Do you think... It, do you think he thought I, he hated being a vampire? I didn't mean to make him feel bad. I didn't mean to. He never told me. Just I think it probably did him good to be around someone who saw that side of him as something positive. He tried very hard not to let that happen, most of the time. It, it wasn't just because of what he was. Like, I liked that. I did. It fucking... God. Him needing my blood to... I know. It's okay, Mon Bijou. It's... I loved who he was. I loved what he was. I loved that he could be powerful and he was designed to kill, but he didn't. He was soft and sweet and small with me. I loved that he bit me. I loved it. I fucking loved all of it. And it... I wanted, I wanted to bite him back. I didn't want him to stop being a vampire. I didn't want him to be human. I wanted to be a vampire with him. I wanted to taste him like he tasted me. I wanted to need his blood to live. I wanted, I wanted. You wanted to be like us. Is that awful of me? I think it is beautiful. I feel like a fucking prick. We should all get to choose. We ought to be offered a choice, knowing the risks. You don't think I, I'm throwing my life away? Human life is not superior. We are all just animals, Alfie. Have I not been telling you this all along? Yeah. This guilt you feel, it is Casper's burden that you have chosen to pick up. You do not need it. It does not serve either of you for you to carry it. You do not belong to him. You are your own man. 
and you are a vampire, and that is magnificent. I could kiss you. Oui, you could, if only you had gotten out of bed. But alas, you have not. But I smell bad or something. You normally love just laying about. I'm a predator. We all love that. It is what we do. Why do you want me to get up so much? You have a missed call. What? From who? Your doctor friend. Nesh, g- give me... Have you been recording this? Forgive me. I thought you would want a record of the call and I did not realise you would be so difficult to convince out of the blankets. You should have told me what this was about. I was going to. I just wanted to make sure that you had got up and dressed first. Why? You know why. You think he's dead? You know what I think. But what if you're wrong? What if it turns out he's in there? What are you going to do? Scream. Probably break several objects. Rent Bonham's limbs from his body the moment I find him for inventing this new torture. But I will rent him anyway, so... What do I do? Should I get dressed first? I, I don't know what to... It is up to you. Do you want me to go? I, I don't know. I was sit in your... Yeah. Okay, good. Yeah. Call me if you need something. You don't want to stay, do you? I don't. Yeah, go then. Healy? Hi. Hey, uh, sorry. It's sorry. Um, no, 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 it's okay. I wanted just... to show you the images in person, but I suppose I'll just send them to you. What did you find out? Um, what part do you want me to start on? What, uh, the most important parts, I guess? What do I need to know? All of your tissue is... It's so much brighter on an MRI. It's fascinating. It does make it a bit difficult to see what's going on. I'd love to get some small tissue samples to look at under a microscope to really understand why, but, oh, it's just incredible. It's made everything a bit blurry, so things took a while to compare, but, my goodness, once I understood what I was seeing, oh, it's, it's incredible. And when I think what this means in conjunction with what I was seeing in your blood, it's amazing. Because it's not really blood, Alfie. Not like human blood. There's blood in it. There's a component of it. But it's something else. A mix of things. There is a viral component. But it seems like here, the virus. It's like it's terraforming for this, well, I don't even know what to call it. It's like a soup of things. Your blood, it's a whole system of cells that comes in and replaces the original system. A parasitic multicellular life that completely overtakes the host's original cell structures and adapts them. The potential in this, there are parts of the complicated system of cells that seem to perfectly stop cell death. There are others that reduce pain. Each constituent part relies on all the others, but they're not quite all the same thing. They're a symbiosis. Oh my god, Casper was right. What do you mean? He he said we were dead. He said we were dead and it was puppeting our corpses. Alfie, you're not fucking dead. This is way cooler than that. You have become... You look the same, you sound the same, you even think the same. You're still Alfie, but you're something else. A parasite. Yeah! I wish you were less enthusiastic. Alfie, you're a whole new thing. A form of life which is uh, its totally undocumented. My friend I wanted to speak to, they're an evolutionary biologist. I wanted to talk to them about how early multicellular life may have formed. Yeah, that, that does make sense. You're less excited about this than I thought you'd be. Yeah. I'm sorry, just... Processing. Wait, sorry. I don't know if you spoke to the blonde one, uh, but he let me scan him too for comparison and... Do you think maybe... Maybe there's... Maybe this could be reversed? Reversed? Uh-oh. As in... Could you stop being a vampire? I mean, hmm, uh, human biology doesn't really work like that. We can't. But um, having said that, I suppose, I mean, all the parts of you that did the human stuff before are still there. They're just either dormant or being used for other things from what I saw in the scans. So, theoretically... 
If there was some way to neutralize whatever allows this collaborative system of distinct cells from communicating, then maybe you need significant interventions. Right, but if you did all of that, theoretically... When I made Nej eat that sandwich, his stomach started to work like a normal stomach in some ways, but I don't... I don't think it was doing anything for extracting nutrition. And those lungs, they would not work. They look like youngs with severe emphysema, if anything. And that kind of damage can't be repaired. At that point, you'd be replacing almost every organ, potentially be reliant on TPN and regular blood transfusions. So if you replace the heart, the lungs, maybe... Do you want to turn back? No. I don't. Alfie. What? You're one of my best friends. Even after all of this, you can tell me anything. No, I... I don't want that. Is that hideous of me? No. Honestly, it's better than the alternative, isn't it? What, hating myself like Casper? No, hating everyone else who was like you. The way that uh, Bonon guy seems to. I never thought about it like that. Alfie, I'm... What about Casper? I'm sorry about what happened to him. I think he was bad news. That doesn't mean I wanted him to suffer. And I... I know I should have called you sooner, but I I didn't want to tell you what I... What, Hayley? I just want you to... Oh, I'm no good at this, Alfie. I'm sorry. Can you just prepare yourself for what I'm going to say? Yes. Uh, Nedge was good enough to drink some blood in the MRI, and I saw the way it... And in the PET scan, when he tasted the blood, it all lit up. A new vascular structure in the throat, connecting the heart and the brain, I know. In Casper, it's just not there. On the MRI, I can see stitching where the connections ought to be, lining up with... Cuts on his throat and skull. Yeah. If I knew more about how you worked inside, I could tell you what that means. But I just don't know. There's a shunt in his brain but there were none of the holes you described to me compared to Nedge his brain looks well concussed the lining in his skull has been damaged but it's not unrecoverable on its own yeah and why do you think why do I think he's not waking up (sighs) all I can do is guess these are the first two vampires I've seen an MRI of, and it's hard to know, even with Nesh for comparison, what's going on there. How much of what I see in Nesh's brain is just him? He's a million years old. Does that change you? I don't know. I don't know what to expect. What I'm seeing in Casper, it's not brain death like you'd see in a person. My guess is he's the vampire equivalent of vegetative. There were signs there of activity, but... Not much. Oh. I... I'm sorry. No, it's okay. Nedge, he... He asked. He explained that normally when a vampire dies, your bodies kind of desiccate a little and then become very brittle, but this wasn't happening with Casper, and he wanted to know why. I... I told him I didn't know, and I'd need some time, and I don't know if you're speaking to him, but if you do see him, please tell him I'm sorry, but I still don't know for sure. But my theory is that it's because you keep providing his body with resources. If you stopped, I think he'd stop too. Oh. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm no good at this. I've never been good at this. Thank you. Thank you for letting me know. Alfie, wait. Is there something I can do? I can come over. You can text me the address and I'll be there. No. no. You're not on your own with Casper, are you? Do you want me to come? No. Thank you, though. Okay, well, please. Look after yourself, okay? And call me. Yeah, yeah, I will. I will. Tell me if you need anything. Please. (laughs) Oh, <laughs> 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 <laughs>
Formed and edited by Aira Major under a Creative Commons 4.0 attribution license. You can support the show and get early access to new episodes by going to patreon.com forward slash hanging source studios. Live, laugh, 